welcome to the brief video tour of Enter, which will be the learning platform that you will use during your online course. You would have received the link to this website in, in an email. As we're looking, I want, just wanted to point out a, a couple of features on this page. First of all, as we scroll down, you'll notice there's some links to some software that you may need as well as requirements. On the right hand side, a very important feature is the help desk. You'll notice this is a toll free number and it's available from 8 a.m. to 7 p.m. as well as a 24 hour support for any of your technical issues. This will be your go to for technical support. So let's go ahead and sign on in. On the right hand side, we'll see sign in. We select sign in, use the email address. Use the email address uh, that you used when you register for the course where you received the link. Go ahead and type in your password. If for some reason you forgot your password, not a problem. Select forgot password and then you can work through that. And it'll take you step by step. I'm going to log in. When you log in, if you're, if you're registered for more, more than one course, you'll see. If not, you just might see one course. For today's example, I'm going to take you through HRT 125 Plants and Society and there'll be similar features there'll be similar features no matter what course you're taking although it might look slightly different so the first page that we come to is the course overview page on your left hand side you'll see your navigation bar and this is where your units for your course will appear so in this course, all 16 units are laid out. In some courses, you, you may only see one or two units at a time, depending on how your instructor has decided to lay it out. Down the center, you'll see your course information, including your course outcomes, your syllabus, grading, instructor content, contact information, course materials. And I want to point out the Enter User Guides. And the way you access this information is just by clicking on that triangle and then you will um, be able to access the information in there. These are all user guides, so if you need a little bit more detailed information, they have some excellent screenshots that will help you access the materials for your course. And then on the right-hand side, you will see announcements for the course. So now let's take a little bit deeper look into one of the units. So here is Unit 1. When we click on Unit 1, you'll notice again on your left-hand navigation bar, there's some materials that you will go through. Down the center, there's information regarding the unit's description, objectives, and your to-do list. This is really important. This is where you will know what you need to do for that unit. And then again, on the right-hand side, any announcements. Going back to our left-hand navigation bar, where we'll find our reading and multimedia assignments. Depending on your course, they may call it something else, but you'll see something comparable to this. And this is where you'll find information regarding the content for this specific unit. So I clicked on it. And this unit has um, multiple things to do. Um, on the left-hand side, we have an overview. So I click on Pages. I can see... When I click on the plus sign, it'll expand. If I wanted to navigate just to one of these individually, I can. Or I can go to the right-hand side of the screen, and I can click through the various pages in this learning module. Also, this is a video, so I could just click on the play to view the video, as well as if sometimes if there's any technical support or there's a little glitch, there's also a link for you to watch this directly on YouTube. And I just wanted to point out this right-hand navigation menu where if I just click on it, I will go to the next page. And here's another video, and I can keep clicking on it. You'll notice that now that I'm on the second or third page, I have a left arrow and a right arrow to navigate through. So as you review your materials, you'll be able to navigate through this. Also, once you're done reading this or you want to go back, you want to go back to Unit 1 using the cookie in the upper left-hand corner. I clicked on Unit 1, and then you can go 
back to your unit one homepage. Here's unit one again, upper left-hand corner, just so you know where you're at. Um, next thing, many courses will have discussion boards, so you can click on a discussion board. A discussion board is an asynchronous way of communicating, so you may be able to post something early in the morning, someone else in your class may be able to post in the evening, but you can still have a discussion. So to participate in discussion board, once you click on that, we'll click on animal and plant cloning, and that's the topic that's in this unit. And you'll see that there's some information regarding the discussion board, what the topic of the week is. This one also has a rubric. A rubric is a scoring guideline so that you'll know how many points you'll earn. So you can click on that and you'll be able to look at that PDF. And here, as you can see, I did some little testing just so you would see what it would look like. Also on the left hand sidebar, you can see that there are the way the participation and the way that this is uh, laid out. So if I wanted to skip, if you have lots of participation, you'll be able to click on them and see it. It's really easy to respond to a classmate or respond to the main topic. Here's the main topic. All I would do is select reply, a text editor comes up, and you can type in your response here, as well as if you wanted to, you could change your subject heading. A tip I typically give my students is that if you're, if you're wanting to do something, you can create your discussion board topic in Word, and then use spelling and grammar check, and then copy and paste it here if you wanted to do that. Or you can go ahead and type directly into here, but always proofread. So this is how you'd participate. So I typed it, and then I would select Submit. And then we'll see it posted. And then you see my new post here. So that is the discussion board. Um, I want to go ahead and go back to Unit 1. One final thing I wanted to point out is the Dropbox, and actually I'll need to go back to the home page for that. Um, and I do that by clicking on HRT 125 Plants and Society, or whatever the name of your course here. This is a nice little cookie trail that makes it easy for you to go back to previous pages. So here's the Dropbox. If you have an assignment that's due, once again, you'll see that in the to-do list in each of your units. You can select the Dropbox. There's a Unit 7 assignment, so let's pretend it's Unit 7 time to submit assignment. I would select Unit 7. Select your submission. And then select your file. So I would select Choose File. And then I would scroll to my desktop, select the file that I wanted to preferably with my name on it, click open and upload. And now the system is processing my document. And then as we could see here, that Gallagher blank document has been uploaded. This is the first time I uploaded it. And now I've uploaded it again so that you could see that. Well, I wish you the best of luck with your course this semester. Good luck.